Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold for Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to x the show full of critical bitterness. Which makes it even more remarkable that on today's show, we give a game a perfect score of 5 out of 5. Plus, is Forza Motorsport for the Xbox better than Sony's Gran Turismo 4? Hmm. Oh, we'll tell you. But that's not all. We have a really weird game. How weird? It stars the band Kiss. Sort of. It's complicated. Plus, what episode of x play ever hits the airways without a war game? Certainly not this one, since we've got a review of Delta Force Extreme. To the extreme! And later, our eagerly anticipated review of LEGO Star Wars, the game that spoils Episode 3. Mm -hmm. But we begin with a racing game that will make Xbox owners very happy. It's a lot like Gran Turismo 4, only Forza Motorsport has online play and damage. Yeah. You hear that, Sony? It's Microsoft kicking down your door. Here's our review of Forza Motorsport for the Xbox. Motorsport, well done. This game is every bit as good as Gran Turismo 4, plus it has online play and damage. Now that means you get to ding up licensed cars. You can't do that in GT4. And we'd like to smash up a Porsche or a Ferrari, Sony. Another thing I liked about Forza, which by the way has the worst title since Enthusia Racing, is that it draws lines through the curves to help you out. One of the frustrating things about Gran Turismo 4 is its difficulty level. Now Forza's going to be a little more accessible because it actually helps you out. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. It's a nice thing. Now, bottom line, whether you have an Xbox or a PS2, now there's at least one 5 out of 5 driving sim for you. Of course, not all games can be perfect. Some of them just try to imitate perfection. Yeah, for every good game, there's a cheap knockoff trying to cash in on its success. You pick up the box and say, hey, it looks a lot like Grand Theft Auto 3, except you take it home, and it turns out to be crap like roadkill. At a bar, they call that beer goggles. Which is why we call this next segment, Beer Goggles Games. When you wind up playing Muppet Party Cruise, it's time to put the controller down and ask for help. Oh, and by the way, we know that alcoholism is a serious illness and not funny at all. <laughs> Except when it's on our show and it's hilarious. Ah, don't go away. Later, we have weird games and a review of Lego. Star Wars. You get to kill Jar Jar. That really is the best part. Been supervised by Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X Play. We're back with war. But this is no ordinary war. This is war to the extreme. Here's a review of a shooter that says, plain old war? That's just not edgy enough for me. Make mine Delta Force extreme. My question, where is Chuck Norris working on the Walker Texas Ranger game? Maybe he's making an infomercial game about tight abs. Yeah, it's called Yourself Fitness to the extreme. It'll blow your abs off. Up uh, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That's nice. I think it is. Mm. Welcome back to X-Play. Later in the show, we have our review of LEGO Star Wars, the game where you get to kill Jar Jar. Yes, the game designed for children is the only one that lets you vent your naked aggression on a giant Muppet. But first, a new installment of X-Play's ever popular, Weird Games. And today we have something very special. Yes, usually our weird games are Japanese imports, but today we have something made in the good old US of A. And what do Americans want more than anything? <laughs> Why, to rock and roll all night and party every day. So what happens when Kiss gets their own video game? Why, Weird Games presented by EB Games. Are you ready for Where's Kiss? Also, I'd like to point out that Todd McFarlane is responsible for some of the worst games we've ever reviewed on this show. Now the backstory in this game is that early in Ion Storm's development, many of the designers working in Daikatana all quit and walked out of Ion Storm on the same day. Then they went across the street and made this game. So maybe John Romero wasn't the only one responsible for Daikatana sucking. I'm just saying. Coming up, I'm Sessler and Morgan Webb. Very nice Australian accent. I like dingoes. They're, they're cute Except and when they eat babies. cuddly. Welcome back to X-Play. We've returned with our review of LEGO Star Wars, a seamless blend of gameplay and product placement. And if you aren't excited about it, you should be because we love playing this game. Here's our review of LEGO Star Wars. <laughs> The co-op in this game is really fun. Now, if you've been trying to get your girlfriend or boyfriend into gaming, I highly recommend LEGO Star Wars. Plus, you get to kill Jar Jar. I killed him several times. 
You know, I was thinking about other games that might be good for the Lego treatment. Lego Matrix, think about how much better it would be. Because they can't talk. Exactly, no Keanu Reeves, no ponderous hogwash taking Baudrillard and reducing him into this, 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 this doo-doo like philosophical stuff. And they could still a have a rave, but there'd be no, there'd be no little love scene. Really, but, but you think about, if, if you think about yeah. Lego guys, they can't really get the booty, well they, well, they don't have asses. They have hinges, no, they have no, hinges. No you they guys think hinges. there are any? Okay, anyway, all of today's disembodied intros were written by a fan, Jim McDonald of Sherman Oaks. Thanks, Jim. That was very That's nice. That's kind of like right down the street. Wonder, that was clever. I wonder, the if whole they could, thing. I wonder if they could just write the whole show for us. And we could just Ooh. And then they could just show up and do the show on my behalf, and then I could go play the what up, my shorties and my willies? Put your caps back for the 411 on Grand Theft Auto. They fear you more than you fear them. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That's very true. You scare me. Hello <laughs> and welcome to X-Play. Today's episode has a little something for everyone. Stealth fans, comic book fans, Gundam fans, and fans of spelling the word combat with a K. Yes, on today's show, we review Spider-Man 2 for the PSP. That's Sony's pocket-sized handheld, which means that now you can put your favorite web slinger in your pants. That's great. We also have a review of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory for the Nintendo DS, which sounds like a good idea, but is it? Plus, anime fans, rejoice. We have big eyes and big robots. We preview a new Gundam Seed game. Why? Because we have to. Pretty much. And later in the show, we review the stealth-based Batman Begins game. Is it worth your money? We'll tell you. Plus, one of today's games will suck so badly, it may kill you. You won't know which one unless you watch this episode. Using scare tactics to make people watch the show? Yes. And one of those scare tactics could kill you. You won't know unless you watch this entire episode. <sighs> okay. But we start things off with Mortal Kombat, the franchise that taught us everything is more extreme when you spell it with a K. Or an X. Or an X. Here's our preview of the new action game set in the Mortal Kombat universe, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. 